In a shocking incident on October 22, two students were rushed to the hospital after a collision between an NTU campus shuttle bus and bus service 179 at the Liwi Nam Library bus stop. Just imagine, you're starting your day, heading to class, and suddenly, a bus collision shatters the calm. Broken glass, panicked moments, and two injured students, what would you do in that situation? Today, we'll take you through every detail of what happened on Nanyang Drive, share exclusive images of the aftermath, and hear from students who were there. As we go through this story, we'd love to know your thoughts. Could anything have prevented this accident? Drop your comments below, and while you're here, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to 2230 for more in-depth news coverage like this. At around 10.15 a.m., the Singapore Police and Civil Defence Force were alerted to a bus collision at Nanyang Technological University, NTU. The accident involved a red campus shuttle bus and public bus service 179, with the impact happening at the Li Wee Nam Library bus stop. The crash resulted in two female students, both 20 years old, being sent to Ng Teng Fong Hospital for treatment. Fortunately, they were conscious at the time and are now receiving outpatient care. Images from the scene show a large hole on the side of the red campus rider, while broken glass covered the floor of the bus. One of the rearview mirrors had even fallen onto the road, highlighting the severity of the impact. One student, who wished to remain anonymous, described the moment the glass shattered, saying, I heard a scream, but most people remained calm and we all just alighted after that. At the time of the collision, the bus was only half full, as most students had already disembarked at the library bus stop. Another student, Cheryl Tan, who was on a different bus but witnessed the scene, saw police officers and paramedics arriving at the scene. She also reported seeing the police emptying a bag near a dustbin, possibly as part of their investigation. The 67-year-old male bus driver is currently assisting with police investigations. SMRT's Deputy Managing Director, Vincent Gay, confirmed that bus service 179 was stationary when the NTU shuttle bus collided with it. He also reassured the public that all 30 passengers on bus 179 were unharmed and safely transferred to another bus to continue their journey. NTU has also confirmed that they are in touch with the injured students and are cooperating with the ongoing investigations. What do you think? Could this accident have been avoided? Let us know in the comments, and make sure to like, share, and subscribe for more detailed news updates. What precautions should universities take to ensure the safety of their students and transport services? We're curious to hear your thoughts.